All right, this is the Batsonov mask that causes diffraction spikes that are useful for focusing my telescope. This is a tri batonov mask, which causes lots of diffraction spikes, as each of those three cause kind of three spikes. Um, and that's used for collimating, uh, like an SCT secondary mirror, um, with three screws. Now, I've found it's easier to block off two of those, so you only focus on one screw at a time. And so I 3D printed a one-third Batonov mask, or a one-third tri batonov mask. Um, and you might notice I have three notches on it, um, and there's a screw on on the side of my secondary holder that that fits on perfectly. So I can set it on. When I look at the uh, diffraction spikes from that one, I can adjust the particular adjustment screw opposite, and then I can turn it, you know, a third, and do the next screw, and turn it a third, and do the next screw, and then go back and check them all. Um, and so I've found, for collimation, that guy is easier to use. And this particular size and notch pattern is specifically for my Mead LX200 12-inch telescope, and it has a three-screw secondary, also known as a four-screw secondary, because it has three screws on the top that are the adjustment screws, and then one screw on the side, which kind of holds things together. Um, and that screw on the side is what I use to index these notches off of. So this prints in three sections. Two of them are identical, and one of them has the actual mask pattern. Although the two that are flat, I have the mask pattern on the bottom. That makes the ABS plastic not lift up. It sticks better that way, so when the plastic warps a little bit, there's some gaps in between for, um, you know, it, to allow that warping to happen without popping off the build plate. It also uses slightly less plastic. It does bridge across those pretty well. Um, so these are just super glued together, and then I take a hot soldering iron tip that I don't care about, and I drag it along each of the seams on the top and bottom to kind of heat weld them a little more. This is what the seam looks like after I hit it with the uh, sacrificial soldering iron bit. You can see there's a groove all the way down it, but it's melted the plastic and pushed it together.